Right, so I've got this dialed in as close as you can on a rough casting edge. I swapped my tool to a left hand cutter because I need to face this off first and I need to put a face on here, but obviously with these lugs on, because I can't get this on that without the jaws touching in the middle, I need to machine down this corner here. Just take those corners off and then I can machine this face down and then swap it round. Yeah, so we're taking this corner off because this radius here comes into it just slightly. Uh, it's no more than the amount we've got to machine off this top face. there now take them more off this front edge than the back well, it doesn't really matter because the cutter's not going to come back it's we're going in so now we'll face this this front edge off i think we've got about three mil or an eighth to come off here With that right now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn this this edge here down just so we've got a nice smooth edge to get a datum on i'm not going to get much though so we'll just get it set to make sure we're not going to hit the jaws Set that to zero. Gives us a nice edge there to uh, date them to. I'm going to get it turned around, set up, and we'll start getting the back done.
fits like a glove. Yeah, happy with that. Right, now I'll turn this face down. So it's the correct distance from there to here. Holding it now. Right, let's swap this to the milling machine. Right, so I've got it clamped onto the bed of the milling machine. What I've done is using a clamp I've clamped a parallel onto the straightest edge where we need to machine on the end cover. And then using a dial test indicator, I have got this edge as square as possible to the bed. And I think this is not too bad. There is literally over that distance it moves from one side of a line to the other which you probably won't be able to see on the screen so I'm happy with that it's tightened down oh, come on and now we can machine this face down to where it should be on this top face and then we can turn it over, put it in the vise, and then put all the holes in. So, using the DRO and the centre finder, on all these edges here, here, here and here, I have found the centre, I've now got my cutter in, and it goes perfectly down the centre of that hole that we did on the lathe. Uh, this is a carbide cutter from Armour Tooling, which are brilliant and they're amazing on cast, so I'll try and remember to put a link in the description down below if you want some. They are brilliant cutters.
Right, so that's as low as I'm going to go. You can literally, only with your fingernail you can feel it. And it's, there's hardly anything there. Right, so we've got to bring this back up and we've got to, from here to the top of this needs to be one inch. So I'm going to machine this off with this carbide cutter because it's just, it's so good. To aid in clamping this in the vise when we turn it round, I've just machined a little flat on the bottom. Obviously with the locomotive being so low down, you'll not see it. And I'll uh, probably just give it a little touch up later with the file once we're done, smooth it out a little bit more and uh, probably try and get rid of some of these rough bits as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you found it very entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a little tickle on that like button down below and pop a comment down below. I love reading the comments and I love hearing everyone's thoughts. And if you haven't already, then please do click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video. And thank you very much to anybody who's clicked the subscribe button recently. It's greatly appreciated. It's helping the channel grow and uh, yeah, more people are getting interested in it, which is brilliant. So thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you in the next one then, which could possibly be on the same topic. Who knows? Laters.